New this morning on Daybreak, it's time to meet the October winner of the Jefferson Award. This month's winner is a 75-year-old veteran who spends at least 10 hours a week at the local ranch, but he is not there for leisure. Take a look. Welcome to Nature's Edge Therapy Center, a 65-acre ranch just outside of Rice Lake. The staff here specialize in occupational and speech therapy with the help of about a dozen horses, some sheep that are much faster than they look, one llama, and volunteers like this month's Jefferson Award winner, Tom Fankhauser, or Grandpa Tom to some of the children who are patients here. I usually know them by their names and I call them by their names and only some of the little kids come and they'll get out of their cars and they come running right over to me and want to grab my hand and stand beside me, you know. Tom has maintained the drive and helped with handyman services here for over 20 years, but his primary role, walking alongside horses to keep patients safe during therapy. Licensed speech pathologist Courtney Losey says there's a method to all this horsing around. We're not in a clinic setting, we're not in a hospital. They want those animals, they want those interactions, they don't want to feel like they're stuck in a little clinic. They want to feel more like they're at home with the distractions, you got the animals, make it fun. We incorporate the use of the horse, which is hippotherapy. So the horse has the same pelvis as us. And if you think about it, what happens at the hips is going to happen at the lips. So a lot of my patients, especially my littles, their first words come out when they're on that horse. In addition to all the miles Tom has personally put Put on alongside patient mounted horses, he's bringing others to the cause as well. He recruited me. Did he give you the hard sell or was he just like, hey, this might be something for you? It wasn't a hard sell, but he was persistent. <laughs> he's a leader and uh, I think uh, the little ones, they do see that. Most recently, Tom helped Nature's Edge reestablish a trout stream on the ranch and is now taking time to help these little ones learn how to fish. It makes me feel like I've accomplished something to work with these kids and if I can teach them something or whatever so that they can have a better life, it's good for the kids. And I, it's real rewarding to me. Tom's efforts don't go unnoticed by those who rely on the specialized approach here. Our experience wouldn't even be possible if it wasn't for Tom. Every therapy session is different. There's always different activities. It's uplifting and it's, um, it gives me a lot of hope. Tom's also been there to take Kelvin fishing, um, just so incorporating fun activities while doing speech therapy. When we have good days like you saw, uh, it just makes me feel like, okay, <laughs> we're, we're on track. Can you say thank you? Thank you. Tom. Tom. We appreciate you. <laughs> And Nature's Edge does rely on the generosity of community donors and sponsors to help patients afford therapy that often isn't covered by traditional forms of insurance. To learn more about their work or to nominate an outstanding volunteer in your community, just look for this story on our website.